hello guys in this video you're going to learn how to create this typography in CorelDRAW. all right to get started i'm going to need an image of a of a paper so this is an image of a paper so uh it's in png already i've already removed the background with the help of um remove.bg so when you come to remove.bg you can remove any background in a blink of an eye all right let's get started so what we need to do now is that we need to come over to bitmap we will come over to bitmap we move to um, outline trace you move to high quality image you click it so you have to reduce the bitmap because the highest is uh, is in hd so right now let's increase the detail you need to increase the detail to reach the maximum length yes so when you're done let's shift the smoothing let's adjust it okay now let's wait for it to to load all right this is good you click on ok ok now this one we have to bring this one by the side because we will still make use of it so right now what we need to do is that we need to ungroup all of them to ungroup you come over here to the status bar you click on ungroup all ob objects so when you ungroup all objects you select all the objects you click on create boundaries this means that uh, around the selected area is going to create an object so we click on it so right now it has created an object around the selected area have you seen the object let me bring it out so that you will see the object that it's created around the selected area so this is the object that it's created around the selected area so right now we're going to make use of pen tool so this is pen tool so we're going to make use of pen tool with the help of pen tool i'm going to draw a shape here i'm going to draw a shape here do you see what i'm doing so with the help of pen tool i'm drawing a shape over here this is very simple to do you have nothing to worry about just follow the prompts and everything will be okay so when you're done you click spacebar all right so what we're going to do now is that we have to select this shape we draw with pen tool and the objects around the the um the paper you bring it up here have you seen it? so right now we don't need this one anymore we have make use of it so let's delete it okay so this one now i'm sorry let's select this one okay this one now what i need to do is that i need to come over here and click uh back minus front so it means that it's going to remove this uh these parts and create an object with the rest of it so we click on it so have you seen it so it has removed the unwanted part and create an object with the rest of it so what we are going to do now is that we need to break it apart to break it apart from the keyboard you press ctrl k have you seen it it has uh, broken this object apart it is now two objects so this is very good so right now what we have to do that is that we need a test you can write any test that you want but I, I'm, I'm going to use graphics so make sure that you capitalize it so you can just anything that you want to to add there you can add it so i'm going to use graphics so graphics so the font i'm going to use here is here is cooper black remember you can choose any font of your choice so it's not a must so then you have to make sure but what you have to is as you have to make sure that they are all in the same length you have to make sure that they are all on the same length so so this is good right now so let's bring it downward so the next thing that we are going to do now is that you need to move over to effects and you click on envelope the shortcut for for it is control control f7 so you click on envelope so what you will do is that so you see this um this pick tool this is the eyedropper tool you have to you click on it now you need to select the object that you want to create the form so i'm going to select this object i want to create the form with this object so i'm using it it has automatically created uh, a form with this object but it has not uh, applied it has not been applied on the test so in order to make it apply on the test we need to click on apply which is here 
when you click on apply it has automatically applied to the test so right now from here you need to select vertical board because the reason why it is in vertical right now is because i have applied it before but if you are doing this for the first time it's going to be important so you need to um, select vertical to make it be in vertical all right so when you are done you click on apply you close it you close this window so what you are going to do next is that you have to drop it with uh, pick two by clicking pick two so you bring it up here so you need to set it properly you need to set it properly make sure make sure that you set it properly so right over here what the next thing that you are going to do is that you right click on it and you click on convert to curves have you seen it so when you click on convert to curve with the help of shape two you click on shape two with the help of shape two now we are going to set this thing i'm going to click this uh, curve c so that it's not going to be changing whenever i'm, I'm I'm resizing these nodes so so you bring this one up here you bring this one here make sure that you, you cover this place all right so we come over to this node click on it remember to click this node you bring this one over here let me move down let me move down so this one here we need to bring it over here remember to click this so that it's not going to disturb what we are doing remember okay so this side we need to bring this one over here you bring this one inside you bring this one over here Uh, yes i think it's okay like this so when you are done now the next thing that we are going to do is that you select this one the test which you which the one that you converted to object you select it and you select this um this uh, let me call it handle you select this one so when you select both of them you click on trim from the option uh option bar you click on on, on word not trim you click on word so when you click on where it will automatically wear it let me bring it out so right now we don't need this one anymore i'm going to delete it so this one so let me set it more you click on shape 2 when you click on shape 2 we're going to delete this place we don't need it yes if if there is any other places that need to be set you can also set it but right now this is good so what we need to do is there is that you select it you press p so that it's going to move at the center of the page so this one this is the image what you will do is that you right click on this image you right click on it and you select power clip inside you understand if you do not see power clip inside you can right drag it to this object and you click power clip inside this is another way to power clip a, uh, any object inside a container so you click power clip inside so right now it has power clip this object inside so you you open it so when when it power clipped it inside you right click on it and you click on edit uh power clip so when you click edit power clip it's going to uh open it so right now what you need to do is that you click p so so that you will make sure that it's at the center but it's it's, it's it's not at the center because the size is not the same anymore because of the background so what you will do now is that you need to set it manually so make sure that you set it manually may, may, or maybe you start from here because if you set any age the, of every other place will be very okay so just set this place and every other place will be okay so since we have set this place every other place will be very okay right now so have you seen it so when you are done you click you you move out okay so what we do now is that we have to remove the outline you right click you remove the outline so we are done already so what we are going to do now is that we need a uh, drop shadow you click on drop shadow from down you drag it up from down you drag it up let's drag it up again i think this is okay let's reduce it i think let's make it 45 45 would be good all right this is okay all right thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't subscribed click the subscribe button so that you'll be notified when we upload new videos see you soon have a great day